How's everybody doing? I know some of you are looking at me hoping this isn't my natural speaking voice. This is it. I can change it. I can make it lower. I can make it higher. But this is it. People hate it. People get belligerent. That can't be your voice. It's not natural. You know, like I have a helium tank stuck up my butt. <laughs> Like all day I'm walking around going, hi Bob, oh god, I gotta get to the show. Psst, how's everybody doing? Cool, Nita, how are you, sir? Cool, Nita. People hear my voice, see my blonde hair, automatically think I'm stupid. I think people in general think blonde women are stupid, and a lot of blonde women get really pissed off, but I think it's cool. You know, because then you can make like major mistakes and no one ever gets mad at you. Oh, honey, I didn't mean to sleep with your brother. <laughs> well, he tricked me. <laughs> Apparently a woman knows what I'm talking about. I don't know. Actually, my boyfriend thinks I'm stupid. I hate that. And you know what? He's a musician, so he's not really bright. <laughs> I'm serious. The other day, he thought the word narcolepsy is when you snitch on an epileptic doing drugs. <laughs> Actually, I think he's not too bright because when he was younger, he used to get high a lot, you know, but he doesn't anymore, though, because you shouldn't get high. It's bad for you. And people in Russia, they don't get high because it'd probably be a drag to get high, get the munchies, and go stand in line for two hours. <laughs> now, yeah, it's scary. When you find out your boyfriend or husband's stupid, it's scary, huh? Because you know, usually you find out during a game of Scrabble. <laughs> Honey, how do you spell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared. I don't play games with my boyfriend anymore because he's a sore loser. I think men in general are sore losers, you see. Women, we're not sore losers because we never admit to losing. You know, we could be playing strip mo poker, be sitting there buck naked and in our mind, well, I still have my IUD on. <laughs> and I know he's not smart because he took me camping. Why do some men insist on taking us camping? We hate camping, camping sucks. <laughs> You know, I mean, you know why we don't like to go camping? Because we don't like to go to the bathroom outside. You know? If it's a weekend camping trip, we'll hold it. <laughs> you know, then you always wonder why we're pissed on Sunday. <laughs> I'm not pissed, I'm full! <laughs> I don't, and he wants to get married, he wants to get married, but I can't marry him because my parents hate him. They hate him, hate him, hate him. <laughs> they do, they think I can do better. And I tried to look for someone who was sensitive and caring, but those kind of guys already have boyfriends. <laughs> Actually, my dad hates him the most, because my dad is a little weird, I have to tell you. I mean, he's getting old. When your parents get old, they start telling you those really strange stories. When I was born, I was born on my mama's kitchen table. What do you got to say about that, girl? Don't think I'm eating at grandma's anymore. <laughs> talks with a southern accent. You know, I think he does that because he tries to be real macho. Like when I was born because I was a girl and macho men can only father boys, he told my mom, why don't you shove her back where she come from? And my mom said, well, that'd be pretty painful for you, huh? 